Hello and welcome to another week of Essential Tuesday Talks. I am Ashley. I am the founder of Live, Learn and Love Life. It is a Lower Tox, commun Lower Tox lifestyle community on Facebook. We also have with us today. And I'm Janine McDonald and I run Clinical to Now, which is decluttering a home organisation to give you a clear home, clear head and a clear heart. I think we all need some of that right now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and good morning, everyone. I'm Louise. I am the creator and founder of Healthier and Happier Living with Louise, focusing on self care, holistic health, and well being, and just bringing kind of light and happiness and joy back into your life. So, we said today that we were going to come and talk to you about using a particular doTERRA blend um, called Zengest um, in order to support you over the festive season but actually all year round as well and um, with managing that kind of you know the overindulgence that we all partake in and we have great fun partaking in across the Christmas period but what we're going to also do today is we're going to give you top five, like five scenarios in which you might find that you can use oils to support you over the festive season. But first things first, Janine is going to talk to you a little bit about Zengest. Over to you, Janine. Thank you very much, Aslin. Zengest is wonderful. Well, I think all the oils are wonderful. I think we say that every week. Um, this is the Zengest. This is the 15 milliliter bottle. So it's got 250 drops in there and it's a blend of oils. So in it, it's got different things. It's a spicy, it's sweet, it's minty, and it's licorice -y. And it really, really does support your digestion. If you find that over the Christmas period or any time of year, if you're struggling a little bit with acid reflux or you've got indigestion, you've just overdone it that little bit, then Zengest is great. You can either put one drop in four fluid ounces of water and drink that. Or you can put a couple of drops with fractionated coconut oil and rub it over your tummy in a clockwise direction. And the, both the smell and the, the oils just absorb into your body so quickly. If you are drinking it, I would recommend that you then spend the next five minutes in a different room to other people, <laughs> because you do tend to do a really big burp. Um, but you feel so much better. <laughs> Ashley, what, what else have you got to tell it's us about? It's such a it? relief. I was going to say, Janine has the has just shown you the bottle and I'm going to show you the rollerball. Um, this is the go-to version in our house because, um, you know, my little girl and myself, we have a lot of foods that we don't quite tolerate well all year round. And it's really safe and easy for, well, as my little girl says, I need the magic tummy oil and she'll go and she'll get Zengest. She can't read yet, but she knows which one it is. <laughs> and she will just rub a little tiny bit around her belly button in a clockwise motion. And within minutes, she's feeling relief. I have also had my um, older son, the very first time I used Zengest, it blew my mind because he had woken up one morning, he had vomiting and diarrhea, as children are wont to do, you know, this happens when they're in and out of school and in and out of creches and play spaces, you know, kids mixing with kids, there's always somebody going to be sick at some point during the year, and those bugs do the rounds, so he, he, he'd been ill, and I thought, oh, I have this oil, I remember Anne telling me to use this one if someone's sick, so I just rubbed a little bit on his tummy. Half an hour later, the child was asking me for food and to go to school. Of course, I didn't send him to school because you have to wait your 48 hours after his vomiting for them to be allowed back into school. Um, but I just couldn't believe the difference. And we have, we, we never run out of this now. I keep one in the car. I keep one in the house. Everybody knows where it is. It's an essential part of our like little first aid kit absolutely love it now there is another rollerball um that lou has and lou can show you it is called tamer and it's actually specifically for children um, it is slightly different it is also for digestion 
but it's a slightly different blend of oils. I'm going to check my list here because I can never remember all the oils off by heart. So in the children's version, it has spearmint, peppermint, Japanese ginger, parsley seed and black pepper. So it can be used for acid reflux, colic, croup, flu, food poisonings, vomiting, diarrhea, heartburn, loss of appetite, nausea, sour stomach, and you can actually even use the tummy tamer one for sunburn and to cool the body down. Um, Lou, do you want to do the next bit about tummy tamer? <laughs> yeah, so this is amazing. We have all of the children's oils in our house um, and it's one of the ones which gets used quite a lot. My younger son, he can get quite anxious um, with anxiety and can have tummy aches, um, particularly at bedtime. So the last few nights, I think kind of the run up to Christmas, he's excited, but also that can manifest itself in tummy aches or not feeling very well. So we just pop a little bit of this. It's in a rollable just around his tummy button and then in a wider circle clockwise around his tummy. I don't hear anything more from him about tummy aches. So it's been really, really good. It's a lovely minty smell. I have the Zen Jest, which I use myself. Um, I pop a little drop under my tongue, um, kind of mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. space down there, um, and then just kind of let it absorb. And that's quite an, a strong fennel aniseed -y smell. So I guess that is why it's not in the children's one, because it can be quite a powerful. Yeah. It's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or hate it. But this is very minty, very refreshing and uplifting, um, cooling, soothing and just amazing. So it's a great one to have, particularly if you've got children or even if you haven't, you know, maybe you're an adult and you don't like sort of the aniseed licorice type smell. This is a great one to have in your first aid box. Um, as you say, you know, it's multi-purpose sunburn, temperatures, tummy aches, all sorts. Mm -hmm. I just um, love how versatile they all are. I find they really, as well, really are. Yeah, I and find as well that, sorry, Ashley, I find as well that my daughter with the Zen Jest, um, we put some in a smaller little roller ball for her. And that's a couple of drops mixed with fractionated coconut oil. And all she needs to do when she goes on a car journey just smell, smell it because it is great for travel sickness and motion sickness as well so it, it's exactly. so multifunctional isn't it yeah. and the thing about it is as well as um you know <laughs> if you don't know already about the mind body skin connection our mind affects our body which is kind of what you know Lou was describing there you know her younger son feeling anxious and that manifesting itself in a tummy ache um a happy gut, happy mind, happy mind, happy gut. They are connected. <laughs> our happy hormones are produced in our gut. Um, so there are oils in the tummy tamer, to, like the Japanese ginger that are there to, and it intentionally to promote a better mood to support with the digestion. So that's another really key point to make. So we shall move on to the the kind of areas that we might feel like we need support over the festive season but we can feel these things all year round so if you are feeling like you are lacking in time energy clarity or focus and you want to bring some abundance of one or other of those things into your life here are my top tips for that so try these tips to bring intentional abundance and good things into your life and um, one drop each of vetiver and rosemary in the base of your shower each morning while that steam is rising up and the scent is getting stronger whilst you're in the shower take deep breaths get some of your 100 deep breaths in you can get 10 of those 100 deep breaths that you need every day in while you're in the shower and visualize what it is that you want to bring into your life is it more energy is it more clarity is it more focus is it you know what is it that you're trying to bring into your day so take whatever that negative thought is and flip it into what is the reverse and do that in the morning as a little ritual you can do that every day and um, you can also diffuse six to eight drops of wild orange in your home throughout the day. So that would probably be two to four drops on a six hour cycle on a diffuser and another two to four drops on another six hour um, diffuser cycle. Really, really good. Wild orange is incredible for uplifting the mood. It's also good for grief and just it's a very empowering and it's an, the oil of abundance and money. 
So there you go. And um, if, you, if you're feeling overwhelmed already or you've got anxiety around yeah. spending time with people who you may not normally spend time with or people who are draining your energy, then try applying a little drop of tea tree to your wrists after interactions with, with a less than healthy relationship. So the oil assists what come what some say is an energetic vampirism. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> I love that. that. That is just yeah. <laughs> we all know those energy vampires. It's so true. We yeah, all know so those so people true. who suck the energy out of us, and it's not because they don't love us, and it's not because we don't love them. It's just that it requires a lot more of our energy to interact with these people positively. <laughs> Okay, so when you need a little bit more of mental stimulation, a bit more mental clarity, then you can diffuse a blend of lime, lavender and basil. Now, you'd think that they wouldn't all connect with each other, but they do. They really, really complement each other. And it just helps to get your mind going again, because if we were saying we've been over, over, overindulging, then our gut isn't great, which means our mind isn't great. So to start stimulating that mind again, so two drops each of lime, lavender and basil. Exactly. Back to the bulging bellies. So if we're worried about managing those bulging bellies from the overindulgence, but we, we all do. As I said, we all partake in it. Um, a couple of practical tips are you can make yourself some homemade broth and add a toothpick drop of the likes of, if you like the taste of Zengest, you're more than welcome to use a toothpick drop of Zengest, but of turmeric and black, black pepper into your broth while you're making it, that they help massively to fight inflammation. And what you can do is you can just sip it from a warm, warm mug morning and evening, and that will help to manage the inflammation in the body throughout the day so that it's easier for you to digest that other food that you're overindulging in. Um, you can use your Zen Jest um, to manage this discomfort, um, rolling it on your belly, as Janine said, or even popping it on your wrist, or like I think Kira, isn't it? Does is just wave it under the nose. I love the smell of it, but you know, mm. I am a fan of anise. Um, and then make sure you have your glow shot each morning. If you don't know what a glow shot is, <laughs> all three of us here drink a glow shot. It is a mix of um, Phyto greens, a greens powder that contains phytonutrients, a skin elixir, which is a collagen builder. So it's vitamin C, C buckthorn and pine bark extract, everything to help um, repair your body and your skin. And a digestive blend um, that has three billion different types of bacteria and digestive enzymes to help you manage and absorb the good goodness from your foods. You can come and find us on Facebook to find or Instagram to find out more about that though um, in more detail. And then if you're struggling or Janine or is it you next? Yeah if you're struggling <laughs> to feel grounded and get proper rest because we all know what it's like we're here we're there we're everywhere our brains are working 100 miles an hour have we got a present for this have we got something for that have I wrapped everything kind of find the ones I've already wrapped which was me yesterday um I'd wrapped one and then couldn't find it and I've literally just had it so if we've got a mind full of to-do lists so do a brain dump each night about an hour before you go to bed and if you have one drop of Siberian fur a drop of lavender and a drop of wild orange to your diffuser in your bedroom that just helps to calm everything down alternatively you can dilute the oils and massage onto your feet once you've settled into bed. And that will give you more restful and relaxation to go to that, sleep. That is one of my favorite diffuser blends. I use that blend quite a lot in our bedroom. Um, the lavender obviously helps to reduce the cortisol and relax the body. The wild orange just makes you feel more comfort and happiness. And the Siberian fur is so grounding it's a beautiful oil and it's also great this time of year if you have a fake tree and you want to get a nice little fresh tree scent a couple of drops on a little decoration there <laughs> um so if you're planning to have a few drinks um worried about having a heavy head after the night before this kind of thing um 
what you can do is you can try one drop of peppermint and one dry, drop of wild orange in the palm of your hands. So you would just do a little drop. I don't have my bottle here. Oh, they're behind me on a desk. So you drop a little bottle into the palm of your hand. You'll rub together. You'll feel a little bit of warmth coming. You'll start to smell the oils heating up. They'll get this, the aroma will get stronger. And you'll create two C's with your hands. This is your like portable inhaler, guys. Turn one about 45 degrees and clasp your hands together. Once you've done that, your thumbs will be beside one another. And you're just going to create a gap and place it over your nose and mouth. And you're going to practice deep breathing. Give it at least a full minute of deep breathing. And what that will do is it will help to increase the oxygenation in your blood because the peppermint is so powerful. It helps to, you know, reduce the headache. Um, and the wild orange, again, wild orange is magic, helps to uplift your mood and give you that energy that you need to get through the rest of the day. Always rub the excess of the oils onto the back of your neck. This is going to help to cool you down because the peppermint, you're using the peppermint. And obviously, you know, if you've had a few drinks, you feel like you're a bit overheated. So you're going to be cooling down these muscles where you're probably holding tension as well from the night before. And you're going to rub the oil from the base of the neck up to you'll feel a little um a little groove called the occipital uh, zone which is just at the base of the skull and the top of the neck and you're going to rub it in there because that's a really really powerful spot to place your oils because it gets straight into your nervous system that way and helps to you know move things around in the body and do the do for you you can also try adding one drop of an approved lemon essential oil, which of course doTERRA ones are, to a pint of water when you're heading to bed and try to drink that throughout the night or before bed. And also do the same thing the next morning. Why are we doing that? We're doing that because that helps to kickstart and support the detoxification in your body. We actually recommend that you do this every single day. Every single day, one drop of lemon oil in a pint of cold water, first thing in the morning, it helps to remove the impurities, kickstarts the detoxification, and any microplastics that have built up in your body as well will also be cleared out. It is a magic, magic oil. It also smells amazing. And as Janine said yes. the last day, she reminded me, it doesn't damage the enamel on your teeth like fresh lemon does, which is really important as well. And last but not least, have yourself a fistic. We are all fistic fans here on this call. I have my one here. A fistic. Oh, mine as well. <laughs> a fistic is a um a blend of b vitamins guarana ginseng um chromium i'm trying to remember now i'm forgetting everything Nat natural green tea caffeine natural green Not tea synthetic. caffeine exactly and what it does is it replenishes your body with some key nutrients. The chromium helps to balance your blood sugars. So you're not getting that spike and crash. You know, after the night before, you want to eat that dirty food. You're like, <laughs> you want to have the comfort food, the dirty food. Well, I'm telling you now, if you follow our tips, use your oils appropriately, drink a little fistic or two. It's going to give you the boost that you need to get through the rest of the day without relying on that greasy food because guys that greasy food is going to clog you up even more and it's going to take even longer to feel better feel better it'll take you days instead of hours to feel better if you go that route we all love a nice fry the next day but just bear in mind <laughs> there are other ways to do it <laughs> so that is it from those are the tips that we have for you today we really hope that they are helpful and practical if you want to get your hands on any of the oils or the glow shot ingredients or your fizz sticks just contact whichever one of us have shared this video with you and we can help you out with that anything else to add ladies before we leave everybody to their festive uh, festivities <laughs> i think just try keep calm use the oils that you have and as as Ashling and, and Lou have said, you know, let's keep our guts healthy. It keeps our mind healthy. And the healthier both of those are, the more fun and enjoyment we can have. And from That's all so of amazing. us here, wishing you a very, very Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and we shall see you in the new year with a new season of our Essential Tuesday Talks. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
January 4th, isn't that right? It is. Yeah, it's on January 4th January. at half 10, we will see you to make a another home cleaner. We might pop you out a poll if you're in our Facebook communities. If you are not in our Facebook communities, come and join whichever one it is that you feel is the most appropriate space for you. Uh, we do all work together. We do all support each other in those communities anyway. So come along and find us and we will pop up a poll to see which cleaner you would like us to make on January 4th for you because there are plenty, plenty in the bag. Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye.